This morning, President Obama faces his final two years in office without one of his closest aides. Senior advisor Dan Pfeiffer departed the White House last week. The 39-year-old started on the campaign trail with then-Senator Obama, who went on to become White House Communications Director. We spoke with Pfeiffer about what it is like working for the president. So tell me about the man you met then when you were applying for a job and the man that you said goodbye to. At his core, I, he is the same man to me. Now, f there's photo evidence that we've all aged a lot in that yes, period of time. Gray hair. <laughs> yes. yes. I looked at a bunch of photos of myself from the early 2007 yeah. days, and I, one, I can't believe how much I've aged, and I can't believe they hired a child, basically, to work on that campaign. But he's battle-hardened. He's, I mean, yeah, there's to no use question. your words. Yeah, I think, I think he is more battle-hardened. Um, he's been through a lot. He's had to make tough decisions, but at his core, the same genuine good person with the same faith in the goodness of the American people exists to me. This guy, you know, has a certain peace of mind about decision making. Yeah. You've seen that since you rode around in a car with him when he right. was running right. He's for president. Very, right. He's very uh, sort of deliberative and calm at the point of decision and very rarely um, ever looks, even if the decision goes poorly, you know, spends a lot of time second guessing. He will try to learn the lessons from it, but his belief is to try to do the right thing and let sort of let the chips fall where they may. The president you know, is 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 cool and businesslike. Is that simply what ought to be recognized as his style? And don't expect him to be something he's not. Well, look, I think he he is who he is. Um, he is a person who uh, adores people. Like, and if you see him campaign, you see that, and he and, and adores That's being voters. Voters, the public, interesting people that he gets a chance to meet with. He is not a transactional human being. He's businesslike, he's smart, uh, but he also doesn't need um, the admiration or approbation of other people to get up in the morning. And what's it like different inside than outside? What do you see and know that we don't see? What's different about it is how wealth, you know, sort of the amount of thought that the president puts into these things and how he wrestles with some really hard decisions. And sometimes you'll be in the room and you actually don't know what his position is because he is arguing the other side for the purpose, uh, this, is the, the, this is the law professor in him, to test out the opposite argument to see how strong it is, you know. And it's, it's, a, it's a fascinating thing to watch his mind work as you sort of see him slowly work his mind around the problem from all the different sides. Here is a guy who was viewed as someone with a gift for language and speaking and communicating. Mm -hmm. Is one of the failures of this administration, whatever your accomplishments, mm -hmm. you have not been able to take the American people with a narrative that they understood and responded to? I think in the first two years, I think we all stepped back, um, you know, and looked at it and realized that the, the trees had overwhelmed the forest. We were doing health care, we were doing saving the auto industry, we were doing um, the stimulus, and each one of those things were sort of their own thing and they didn't weave a broader narrative. But I think on the issues the president cares about, public opinion has moved significantly in his direction over the course of our time um, in the White House. Whether it's on core economic policies same around same-sex marriage, same-sex marriage, immigration, immigration. reform, he has moved the country in a, in, a, in a direction that if we can continue it and win the next presidential election, I think we'll sort of set the four corners of political debate in this country for a very long time, just like what Ronald Reagan did at the end of the 80s. The people working for the president feel like that they have a remarkable opportunity. And so therefore they're there at a unique time in their life to give everything they've got. That is perhaps the thing I'll miss most will be the people and the sort of sense of camaraderie because- You're in the ship together. You're in the ship together and it is, a group of brilliant people. You know, I'm 39 and I probably have had the best job I'll ever have. Sometimes I wake up way earlier than uh, I probably should. And I sort of, it takes me a minute or two to realize that this all actually happened because it seems impossible to imagine sometimes. Wow. You don't expect wow. him to say anything negative about the president, no. uh, but you do expect him to say things that are observational. And when he says he's more like a law professor, when he says he's not transactional, that is part of what some of the critics have pointed out. Even Leon Panetta mm -hmm. said it was much more like a law professor. I thought he had very interesting observations. What's his next chapter, Charlie? Does I don't he think he knows. Know? He's going to take a vacation, mm -hmm. go to Asia for a while. He's, he's uh, 
got some books he wants to read. Well, I know he's smart and he has excellent taste in women. I'll just say that. She's smart and she's great and so is he.